Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy since the top of the afternoon. Hope everybody feeling good, feeling great, feeling blessed, working hard to be successful. Now, before we get into this video, be sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you be notified when I drop brand new videos on you. All right, y'all got that? Y'all did that? Make sure you also hit the like button and leave your comments. Your comments. <laughs> your comments down below. Now, it's the reason why I'm going to put these gloves on. So, peeping. Um, today is Monday, February 18, 2019. Saturday night, an airbag blew on me. So, I'm, I'm heading down the road. I'm driving and everything. So, the trailer bounced. So, it's making everything in the truck bounce even harder. So, I'm like... So I'm like, yo, what's going on? So I pull over, because when I was going to take my 30 minute break, I was pulling into a truck stop and I heard a pop. So I'm like, oh, come on, I don't need no more repairs, man. Not right now, you know what I mean? So I'm like, I get in the truck stop, I park, because I'm thinking it was a stair tire, but that's, that, that's not what it was. So I get out, I look at the tires, I check everything, I check my airbags on my truck, check the shocks, nothing. So I'm like, yo, what is that pop? Maybe I ran over something, right? So anyway, I do my 30 minute break. I leave out of the truck stop. I'm heading down the road, I'm hitting the bumps and it's just extra bouncy. Like, you can really feel the weight in the trailer. So I'm like, all right, something wrong. So I get off the off ramp and Ran across, you know, the yield sign back onto the on ramp, but on the shoulder. So anyway, I look. I'm checking my airbags. Maybe I'm, I'm checking the cab airbags. I'm like, yo, what is that? So I don't know. This, I don't see. I still don't see nothing. I don't hear no leaks. So I'm going down the road, but I'm feeling it again, and I'm like, yo, something is wrong. And I can't find out what it was. So anyway, I look on my Ram McDowell. I'm like, all right, there's a rest area coming up. I was going to shut down on anyway. So I get to the rest area. I pull, I pull in there and I pop the brakes. But something told me like, as I was going down the interstate, as I was going down the interstate, I kept hearing a little bit of, a little bit of air seeping out behind my air valves up here on the tr on the front of the truck so i'm like where's that air escaping from i'm looking at my gauge the air is still a 100 psi's so i'm like god something wrong i'm telling you something is wrong and i can't put my finger on it so i'm like all right bet so get in the rest area Pop the brakes. And the airbag on the trailer busted. Like, got a big hole in it. So, as y'all saw in my last video, my airbag busted. You know, my airbag had a hole in it. Which affected the other airbags. Which affected the tire inflation system. But even though the airbag is fixed now. My tire on that side still goes flat until the air gets in it or whatever. So I, who knows? Whatever it is, you know what I mean. But um, I'm like, all right. So anyway, I get I get to I get up the next morning, which was Sunday, and I call Loves to see if they do trailer airbags. They're like, nah, we just do tires. I'm like, damn. I don't want to go to no TA. And guess where's the closest TA? Nashville. Down there by the stadium. So I'm like, oh. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'll lump it to TA in Franklin on 65. I called them. They was like, hey, our, tech, our, our, our technician will come in to uh, after three. Then if we don't got the parts, we're going to have to order it Monday. I'm like, Man, I got the look. You know, I, I had to deliver a load down here in Alabama. 
So I'm like, man, come on. And you know, I'm trying to knock off the debt from the repairs and stuff like that. So I'm trying to just keep floating and rolling. You know what I mean? And riding and grinding. So anyway, I go to Nashville, hit the owner up. I'm like, yo, I got a blown airbag. I'm going to go to the TA. I hit you up on what everything costs. Right? So I get there, sign up. Bro, well, sign in. You know, they got me on the waiting list. I sat around a little bit. When they got, when they got something to eat, and when they got something to eat, and I'm like, all right, get back to the truck. There's like, hey, can you pull in the basic? So I get in there, talk to the guy, and everything like that. So anyway, um, everything came up to four hundred and forty-three dollars and fifty-one cent. So, hold on, y'all. Let me, uh... Yeah. Shout out to my boy, Red K. Horner. It's my little brother right there. Had to let him know I was doing a video, because that's Mr. Oh, I like to call Sinister in the middle of his video. My little brother always know when I'm in the middle of a video. He really does. And we just click like that, you know what I mean? So anyway, shout out to that. Shout out to my little brother. Um, anyway, the total repair was $443.51. Here's the paperwork right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. But anyway... Asked the guy in the TA, I said, yo, can you do me a favor? I said, I want to show everybody the airbag for those that um new coming in the truck in or those who don't know what an airbag look like. You know, if you didn't catch my last video when I stuck the camera between, you know, behind the tire and showing everybody like, hey, this is my airbag. This is how it looked. It was popped. So I asked the guy at the TA, I said, hey. Can you do me a favor? Can you give me that air? What y'all gonna do with that airbag you take off? He's like, most likely we're gonna throw it away. I said, yo, can I get that airbag? I wanna show, you know, people on YouTube, because I do YouTube, so I can show people like what an airbag looked like, how it looked when it was popped. Cause I couldn't really show you the way it looked when I had the, the camera on it. So, this is what it looked like, right? This is for the trailer. So this is the this is the hole on it. That's the hole right there. That thing, <laughs> you see that big hole? Look like a big Pac-Man mouth, right? Yeah. This thing right here. Woo, it's rusty and it got dirt on it. I'm getting dirty for y'all, but that's how it looked. Look at that hole on it. So, could have been, you know, been on there for years. That's why I tell y'all to change your airbags. If you get an old truck, yo, don't assume your airbag, you know, you don't. Let me put this back in the box. They gave me a box. Hold on. They gave me a box. I ain't want to get all that dust in the truck. So, when I get to the, the petrol up the street, I'm going to go ahead and dispose of it. But I just wanted to keep it because I just wanted to show y'all what the airbag looked like and how that how big that hole was. So, um, $443.51 later, I left that same day, ran... I stopped last night at the Loves, took a shower, shaved, got up this morning, dropped off my load. Now, since I rent my trailer, am I responsible for the trailer airbag? Nah. Shout out to the owner that I pulled for. I sent him a screenshot of the paperwork, so he's just gonna give me, he gonna reimburse me back the 443.51. So I'm like crazy. Now, usually, if it's a tire, that's my responsibility because it's a trailer. So, 
Um, that's how that, that's how that, uh, turned out for your boy, so. Yeah, I charged it to my credit card, but he's going to give me the money back in my account. I'm going to go ahead and take that money, pay the credit card off, and, um, just pay it off and keep on trucking and everything like that. So everything came out gravy. I made my load. I delivered my load on time. In and out. Now I'm picking up another load. Um, Gasson. I guess that's how that is. Don't pronounce that. Gasson, Alabama. Something like that. Uh, going up to Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm looking at 400, 490 miles. Um, supposed to be there tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock a.m., and it's 3.23 Central Time. First of all, um, let me look at my clock. I got five hours and eight minutes remaining on my 11. That's going to take eight hours and 18 minutes to get up there. So even if I go and I shut down now, it's not going to happen. So let's see. If we shut down at 4, 4.30, so let me see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, nah, ain't happening. Not by no 6.30, it's not happening. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm backed into the door. They ain't start loading me yet, but once they do, I'm going to go ahead, go scale it out, depending on the weight, move the tandems, drive a little bit, probably hit the T, probably shut down by 6 o'clock, get up at 4 o'clock. I'm going to get there in the afternoon, so that's just what it is. But this your boy, Sinister. I'm going to wrap this video up. I don't want to make it too long. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your comments. Thanks for all the support and love. And I'll holla at y'all on the next uh, situation, I guess, your boy, Sinister, I have. All right? Peace.